The next step is publishing the DMARC record. Um, a DMARC record is just a simple text record that you publish in DNS uh, on this subdomain underscore DMARC dot whatever your domain is. Uh, and that text record is basically set up as so V equals DMARC1 shows that it's a DMARC record. The P equals none shows that this is, uh, this is the flag that you set that defines what to do with the emails uh, if they fail DMARC. Um, and in this case, we're setting none when we're first setting things up because we don't want to quarantine uh, or reject messages. Uh, and then the RUA address, this is basically requesting aggregate reports to be sent to the email address that we have specified here. And this ATP at your domain uh, is um, a, uh, a shared mailbox that we usually create when we're doing our security roadmap. And this can go to whatever email address that you want. So the idea behind this record is, is that if an email comes in and it passes DMARC, then you know email gets delivered. If it doesn't pass DMARC, uh, then in this case it still gets delivered because we're not rejecting yet. But the receiving mail servers will start to collect information about the emails that they've received from your domain. And over time they'll start sending aggregate reports back to the address that we have specified here that contain, those reports will contain XML files that basically give you delivery information about the emails that they're receiving. You may ask, uh, why don't we want to reject or quarantine messages? Um, in Office 365, just the simple fact of publishing that DMARC record helps protect against phishing. And in general, just publishing the DMARC record is a great idea because uh, the to begin with, uh, the emails that are coming into your domain will start being protected because just because of the simple fact that you have DMARC configured. Um, and uh, emails that are being sent to other domains, to other recipients that are outside of your organization, uh, you'll start receiving uh, reports that go back to that, that uh, ATP mailbox or whichever email address that you specify in that DMARC record. Uh, and in general, it's not recommended to set a quarantine or reject until you've actually reviewed those reports over time.